Narrative, however, most people when they hear narrative in games, they think story. A narrative is not a story. And story, even story is not a story. So narrative is the totality of the experience. It's everything. It's, it's characters, it's plot, it's atmosphere, it's gameplay. So that's narrative. So narrative experience is the totality of it all. And it can also be described as player's subjective journey because we all have our own journeys, even in linear games. We interpret things in different ways. So everybody has their own journey. Now, tell. This is extremely important to me because we want to tell stories. I mean, okay, not everybody. I assume some people are very interested in making mechanics-focused games. But some people want to tell stories, and they're often told, if you want to tell a story, go make a movie or write a book. And I believe that games can uh, tell stories at least as effectively. But the problem is that the players don't want to listen to the story. They want to write the story, experience the story. So they want to be the writers. Again, it's their own journey through the game. So they want to feel, and that's the difference, they want to feel like they're writing it themselves. So the difference between if the player has this, if the player listens to the story, sold through a cutscene, for example, that's a pretty shallow experience. I mean, it's still quite cool because games are cool, but it's not as powerful as when the player actually feels like he has written, they have written the story themselves. So that's a big problem. So now what, right? We want to tell the story, but they want to feel like they're writing the story. So my, my idea for this is, Assuming this is the player, and I'm not saying they're monkeys, but assuming this is a metaphor for the player and there is a little avatar there in his hand, so they want to be on stage and they want to have this freedom of expression. And our role is this. We, need, we, of course, we want to tell the story and this guy is telling a certain story. I mean, he is actually in control of the, of the, of the, of the player, but the player does not feel that. He's not aware of that. That is a cheat, of course, but that's totally fine. I mean, people pay money to be cheated. When they go to a movie, they want to be scared, they want to laugh. When they read a book, they want to be thrilled. They pay good money to be cheated on. Them. 